Hi, I'm Butterballs. And I'm Heyman. And this is Solstice Law. Today, we're going over barrel bags versus barrel plugs, and why plugs are bad and bags are good, and why you should always wrap it before you pack it. So, one of the biggest problems I have with barrel plugs is they're not very secure. They just fall out, and now the gun is unsafe. So, one of the biggest problems we have with barrel plugs themselves, especially this yellow kind, is they have pieces that can get damaged, old, dried out, worn off, and they come off. And that, at that point, makes the barrel plug useless. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do, which is plug. Um, now, the orange one on the other side has a little better design. It doesn't have any of those drying out rubber pieces that are separate from the whole device. It is all one big piece of rubber. So, it's a little bit better, but as you'll see later, it's not going to do what it needs to do. So there's a couple of different styles of barrel bag. Um, you have the cloth bag that is in front of you, as well as the rubber bag that is there as well. Um, personally, I think the rubber bag is a better option because it takes a lot longer to dry out and it's gonna handle more abuse than anything else. The cloth bag, um, it's really your standard that you're gonna find on most rental equipment. Uh, most fields are gonna have them for sale, but they do have a tendency to rip and tear and unfortunately sometimes you're not going to see that damage before it's too late. With the rubber bag, I've had them for years, they take the abuse and they just hold up.